May Sinclair, Munro Ambulance Corps, Belgium. A young Red Cross volunteer takes me over to the Palais. It's an immense building. There are 4,000 refugees of war lying on straw in the outer hall. They are laid out in rows all round, men, women and children together, packed so tight that there is barely standing room between any two of them. They are utterly destitute and broken with fatigue. Nothing matters. They have the dignity of figures that will endure forever. This place is terribly still. Only here and, and there the cry of a child. Apart from that, there is not one tear. And you who look at them cannot speak or think or feel either. And you have not one tear. It is a sorrow that transcends all sorrow that you have ever known. Little things strike you, though. You notice the little brown dog, <laughs> the yellow-brown mongrel terror, that absurd little dog which belongs to all nations and all countries. He has obtained possession of the warm centre of a pile of straw and is curled up on it fast asleep. There are many wounded among the refugees. You cannot account for it in saying to yourself that these are the refugees, that, that there is war, that these people have been shelled out of their homes and are here because there is no other place for them. And the kind citizens of this town have undertaken to house and, and to feed them here. That doesn't make it one bit more credible. <laughs> Several hundred more refugees have come into the palais since the afternoon. They've had to pack them a little closer in the straw. 8,000 were fed this evening in the inner hall. And as I helped to distribute food, I realised I belong so much to these stunned sleepers in the straw who, like myself, cannot for now, feel.